Hey everybody, welcome to the next Using Emacs. Uh, today we're not going to dive deep into anything, but I do want to talk a little bit about what I'm, uh, what I'm starting to play with now, because I'm just finding it a little bit interesting, and I hope uh, you find it the same. Um, first, uh, just a little comment about Emacs resources. Um, and uh, back in the day there, of course, um, you know, there weren't any resources for anything. Um, and uh, there are some, you know, blog uh, bloggers on Emacs. I mean, you know, Planet Emacs, uh, I guess, aggregates them, uh, a bunch of them. So here we've got, um, are these the actual blogs? Maybe. Um, uh, I, I subscribe via RSS, so I very rarely actually come to the page here. Um, but, you know, there, there are a bunch of them here that you can see. Um, I subscribe to a bunch of them, lots of good ones. You know, Ariel, this is, a, this is a great one. I learned a lot here. Um, when Sasha blogs, that's always awesome, and her, her Emacs updates, etc. And um, also, uh, you know, obviously I make videos. I don't consider myself an Emacs blogger. I'm making videos. I blog more about education stuff. It, and the blog posts I put around using Emacs are just kind of more to tie things together in the videos. Um, but there have been, um, when I started this, I don't think there were that many recent Emacs videos, um, you know, maybe a few. Um, but the nice thing is more recently there have been some good, uh, you know, there have been some good Emacs um, videos coming out in the last couple of years. So, uh, you know, around when I started, um, uh, I can, should be able to get to this easily. Um, these are things I subscribe to, so uh, where is that? Where is that? Um, Rainier uh, um, Koenig uh, did a bunch of org mode stuff, uh, and I subscribed to him. So I don't know why. Yeah, he's somewhere down in this list. I, I not, I'm not going to search further for it. Uh, obviously, I do my things. Rainier's stuff is good for org mode. Uh, Build fun things popped up, so we can see you know, a lot of good videos here, like... Um, you know, four months ago, and if we go to the bottom, you know, we're not we're not really that long ago, or we're we're a year ago, so that's relatively recent. Really good Megit video in this one here, and most recently, Uncle Dave started making videos, um, and I'm enjoying those as well. And one of the things that I like is even if we're overlapping in topics, like if I come down here, um, there's a video on Swiper that, that Dave made recently, and I made a video on Swiper a year ago, and one, is there a little bit of a different flavor? So it's nice that we can you know, pick up pieces that each other miss, and this also keeps it fresh for a new person, or we both made music videos for Emacs almost on the same day, and Dave covered EMMS, and I covered things like Simple MPC. So I thought that was really cool. That's you know, just the way it worked out. And, um, and today, I looked at Rainer's video on completion, and he uses company where I've always used um, autocomplete. So I thought I would look a little bit into autocomplete and see, you know, not autocomplete, into company, and see if I actually liked that and see if it was better. And the driving force was, um, irony mode um, for C++ because I was thinking, you know, I am using C++ for one of the classes I'm teaching, and even though I, I'm pretty happy with my configuration, um, let me check this out because irony mode uses Clang, and it says right here that, um, I don't know if you can read it, make it bigger, uh, that it uses company mode, and you know, there may be a way of doing it with autocomplete, but I figured let me dive in. So um, I want to look at just a little bit about uh, comparing where I am with these two, and this is very raw. I just started this this morning. Um, so this is my configuration for autocomplete, and I pulled this out of my um, my main file, my um, uh, my configuration file. So this is this is mostly it right up here. And it gives me almost everything out of the box. Um, I also use autocomplete for org mode, and I'm not sure if I like that or not. Uh, I keep, you know, I keep changing my mind. Like it automatically completes like to dos and dones whenever I type something, and that's kind of annoying actually. So I may change that later on. Uh, the Jedi config was very simple. All I had to do was Jedi AC setup um, when I go into Python mode. Web mode I just copied in just because I have it configured, um, not because I'm actually doing anything with it right now, but but. Notice that I'm not really, so if you really look at my day-to-day -day setup, this is it, you know, for autocomplete. Um, and really, this. Uh, so it's very clean, very simple, and this gives me the configuration that I like for Python and for the other editing modes as well. So I'm going to exit Emacs here, and I'm just going to, you know, make sure I've killed all my Emacs. And let's just go into Emacs Raw. Um, you know, just, just we're loading it from scratch just to convince everybody that indeed, you know, this is a total fresh, um, yeah, forget about the org AC thing, I'm not worried about that. But so I get like 
you know, help completes and then it brings out more things here, or I guess it automatically does, um, whoops, that, lisp error, you know, you know, automatically doing the, the completion for, um, you know, for elis, which is cool, and I get this out of the box and I kind of like it. You know, if I type, uh, hello, uh, hell's, uh, poppin', you know, help, and now we see here, hello, and we should see down in the bottom of this, you know, uh, let's, you know, let's go all back. Well, let's go to hell, you know, hell's a pop in. You, you know, so it does this out of the box, and that's very cool. Um, now, if I go to a file, let's go to, um, you know, temp, hello, dot pi, and I do my import, you know, it brings that up, or that's quick, random comes up, Bang, that's good. Now we say for i in range. Well, I mean, if I do notice it pops up random or range, and I like that it pops this up too, which is kind of cool, even though I don't really use it much. Or range. Um, and, you know, range 10 and print random, it would complete that. And then it brings that up. All right, so that's all fine and good. Everything is cool there. This is autocomplete. If I go to a C++ file, um, test.cpp, let's say, that's, an, that's a, um, a YA snippet completion there. Um, you know, that's also YA snippet. I don't really get, you know, actually I do get, um, I get some of that stuff. Uh, okay, I didn't really get really that, so I guess it's doing standard. Let's see if I can get some completion here. Am I getting, yeah, there. So I'm getting this completion up. Didn't want my um, YA snippet. So I'm actually getting this all from um, really nicely um, in autocomplete. And I didn't really realize that I just installed Clang earlier today. Um, so maybe um, maybe that's why it's doing this. So, oh, cool, all right. So I uh, didn't realize that was gonna happen. But I'm still gonna play a little bit more with, um, with, uh, with, yeah, with company mode. Let's just exit all of this. And so what I did is, if I look at my .emacs file, and I, if I look, what I did is I created a separate branch for company test. And if so, if you want, you can actually, and I push this branch up to GitHub. So if you wanted, you could always pull that branch down if you want to play with it a little bit. So let's do a Git checkout, or let's, um, you know, grep company in myinit.org, and there's nothing there. So we'll do a Git checkout um, company. It makes it bigger so people can see it. git checkout company test and now let's do the grep and now it's got a whole bunch of company stuff so let's just load emacs again and again i'm just doing this uh, to show that everything is clean so let this all do its thing um get my font bigger mineit.org and I have this all under company here. So basically, this is my configuration. Uh, I copied these from, from Uncle Dave's configuration, and I try to go into global company mode. And one of the first things that I noticed is global company mode did not really work for me. Uh, global company mode, um, like when I was in Python, I, didn't, I, I, I just got the basic completions. I didn't get all of the cool Jedi completions. Um, you know, I had to explicitly, you know, or rather, I didn't get everything anyway. I had to explicitly, somewhere in here, um, I had to explicitly here um, add Company Jedi, and I guess that was fine, but I, I wasn't even, I wasn't getting all this stuff. Um, and, you know, notice I'm a little doubled up here I, when I cut and pasted this. I really don't need both of these. Same thing. But basically, I had to add that. Um, you know, add hook, my Python hook. Uh, I, I had to install Company Jedi. If I installed just Jedi, it conflicts with this, so that wouldn't be good. And here's the irony mode stuff as well. So I just did these from the websites. But let's see how this works. Let's just go to the scratch buffer. And I do hello. Hello's uh, a pop in. And I'm not getting that completion. And this I haven't figured out, and I don't really like it. If I go to just a random buffer, make a random buffer, and I have hello, you see here, I am getting the hello completion. Hell's a pop, whatever. 
And there I get it. So I'm not exactly sure why I sometimes seem to get it. And let's see if it comes up now. You see, now we're not getting it. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. So that's a little bit of a downside. Um, but when it does pop up, you'll see it looks pretty much like autocomplete. So let's go to that py or a Python file and let's go to company.python and whatever. And once again, let's import. Note is very fast. It brings that up. Random, same deal, uh, you know, for i in range. So we'll do range. And notice that it's not pulling up that little descriptive section. But on the other hand, this is really snappy and fast. But everything is pretty much the same. You know, print, random, rand range, you know. Yeah, so pretty much the same, and that's really kind of cool. Um, so that's working nicely. Um, it seems a lot faster pretty much out of the box than um, autocomplete, but on the other hand, I did set this delay to zero, wherever it is, this delay up here to zero. So that might have something to do with it. If I go to a C++ file, um, company.cpp, let's say, let's just bring that up the normal way. Um, you know, standard, you know, it brings that up and it brings this up, which is actually a little bit nicer. So, um, you know, than what I got for autocomplete. So that's a difference. So, so those are the two things they are a little different. They both seem to work, but they both seem kind of quirky in their own way. The other thing that I noticed is, um, like, I really don't like the company documentation. So here's the GitHub page, but the, the documentation is really, to me, kind of sparse. It gets you started. Um, and again, this didn't really work for me all the time, so that's kind of weird. Um, but it doesn't really tell me. It sends me to these random posts. But even then, things like things like this, the idle delay and the prefix delay, it wasn't right up front for me. So that I didn't really like. Um, whereas the autocomplete um, you know, documentation, I found a little bit better. There's a somewhere here, a complete user manual over here. Um, so I, I kind of like the documentation on autocomplete better. Um, you know, I'm liking that C++ stuff for company mode better, um, but I like that Python little pipe up that autocomplete gets. I'm not really sure which way I'm going to go with this, uh, but I'm playing with both. You might want to try one or the other. What I'd really love, um, and actually there's a website somewhere that has a, a, a write-up of how to get company to behave like autocomplete. I have to find that again. I found it this morning, but um, you know, I haven't been able to find it since. Uh, and that might give me some insights into how autocomplete and um, company, you know, like how to do, how, how to get the, um, how to, how to um, make them both behave the way I want rather than each having a little quirkiness. Um, so if you use company or autocomplete, you know, I'd love to hear your comments. I'm sure the community would love to hear your comments on, um, you know, on wherever I post this, uh, the blog, uh, YouTube, you know, I'll post this on Reddit as I usually do. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, what you like about one versus the other, how you tweak one versus the other. And, um, yeah, and so that's it. So that's what I've been playing with a little bit this morning. And, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. Okay, see you next time.